Hello everybody, this is Stringhammer back to kick off round 5 for group B, my group. So, let's have a look at our fight card, shall we? For our main event of this session, it is 1 and 3 Khalid going up against Mulberry. Victory for Khalid and that will thrust them right up the table. But before that, we've got our host Stranger Gamer going up against Storm. Then, we'll see Varga taking a crack at Echo Fury. But up first, it is Carnotaurus Man going up against our current champ, Maastricia. Looking to make it 5 out of 5. Okie dokie, in the red corner for Carnotaurus Man, we got Super Displeasaurus Awaker Mode on 3. And yes, if I sound weird, it's because I have a cold. <laughs> well, this is going to be a tough match for Carnotaurus Man. In the blue corner for Maastrician, we got Omega Eocarcaria, which has been an absolute beast in this tournament so far. Maastrician, 4 out of 4 so far, looking to make it 5 wins. And a victory here will probably all but guarantee a place in the knockout rounds. I mean, it won't be 100%, but it'll pretty much be like 95%. <laughs> Um, there's no secret dinosaurs in this matchup, so we don't have to worry about terrain advantage. So, so let's get generated. Oh, oh wow. <laughs> That's not a good start for Carnotaurus, man. That's a crit right from the back. One. Ooh, but does Petersaurus respond with a shot of his own? A softening beam coming in yet? That's gonna... Increase the damage that the Eocarcaria will take to in ties, which could come in handy. Oh, well, speak of ties. But yeah, you can see the difference there. More damage dealt via the ties. And actually, look at that. The ties have leveled this up. Okay, there's the uh, tie recovery effect. Another tie. Another tie! Oh, it's going to be a tie fast. Ooh, Carnotaurus man getting the shot. And he saved the Awaker mode as well. Which does give him a chance to hit the Spino. Now, the Spino is Blitz type, so it will go for its two crits. So the odds are you'll probably have to... Hit, you'll only get the hit, Wake and hit with Paper, which will be softening. Okay, hit to hit. And you've got to take anything when you're going up against Maastricia. Right, coming in next for Maastricia, we've got Spinosaurus Blitz type. Hmm. Unfamiliar scenario this for them. Eocarcaria usually does a bit more. Only got the one hit in the match. Ooh, the Spinosaurus does get the softening beam. That means it's gonna survive and it's gonna have a chance to get an awakened hit on this Spino. And even with the type disadvantage, that awakened hit could do a lot of damage. Well, actually, type advantage is irrelevant because the Spino's gotta go for rock. Oh, that's a tie. But again, Carnotaurus man won't mind that. Oh, he gets it! It's a crit, a firebomb! The Despletosaurus is mopping up, and our champ Maastricium is in big, big trouble. Well, coming in third from Maastricium, we got Tarkia. We've hardly seen this thing, but it's gonna have to show its worth now because Maastricium is in big, big trouble. Can Carnotaurus Man pull off the upset? And well, what an opportunity for the other guys in this group if Maastrician falls here. Okay, that's a tie. That's going to be curtains for Despetosaurus. But, well, he's doing his work, didn't he? Right, coming in next for it's Carnotaurus Man. We've got a Pachyrhinosaurus. Can Packy Rhinosaurus finish the job for Carnotaurus Man and getting them an unlikely bonus point win? Now, it is heroic type, so that Lightning Spear is going to hit really hard. And the Tarkia doesn't have an Earth move either, so there'll be no type disadvantage for Carnotaurus Man to worry about. 
But for me, one lightning spear and this game's up. This match is over. Oh, another hit on the board. And Maastrician flirting with disaster big time. Okay, gets a hit and needed that hit. Oh, here comes another hit. Our champ finally putting up a fight here. That's another tie. <laughs> another tie. Oh, the lightning strike! A recovery to come as well. This won't be lethal, but it's gonna leave Master Ashen on the brink. Oh, look at that, he's on red HP. One hit will do it. Can Carnotaurus man get the upset? Oh my god, he got the up. No, he hasn't. It's a, it's a dino suffer. <sighs> Master Ishia clings on. And gets the hit. That downs the Patuinosaurus. Carnotaurus man missing the opportunity there for the bonus point victory. But it's, they're still well in their hands. One hit will do it. Right, coming through for Carnotaurus man. We got Ace Dinotector. On the brink of the upset. The upset of the tournament. Can Carnotaurus man get that one hit they need? Mm -hmm. Bam, ba, bam. Ooh, here we go, it's all on this. The dino stuff is gone. Oh, they got the upset! And Carnotaurus Man has done the unthinkable and has beaten the favourite. And what a win for Carnotaurus Man. Three massive unexpected points. And Maastrician tasting defeat for the first time in this tournament. Wow, what an upset. That's going to be one of the upsets of the tournament. <laughs> On to match number two. Right then, in the red court for Varg, we got Torvasaurus. Varg are having a mixed bag so far, as to say. But, you know, the pressure is on them now, especially after that first result. Bum, 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 bum. In the blue corner for Echo Fury, we have got Allosaurus, Alpha Allosaurus. And with that first result, a bonus point win here for Echo Fury will put them joint top with Maastricia. So, a really good opportunity here. Four. Ooh, Alpha Allo gets the first shot of the match there. Now this Torvasaurus does have the type advantage in this matchup. But that's only good if you get hits. <laughs> oh, well there's a hit. That's going to be a Magma Blaster. Oh no, it's not. It's got Heat Eruption, isn't it? <laughs> but still a big hit there from Burger. Tech boot activating, which also activates the volcano burst. A good shot there from Varga. Ooh, but Alpha Allo responds with a crit. It's a ninja attack. This is going to be a big ninja attack. Not really. It'll do some damage. It's a crit at the end of the day. Poisoned it as well. Good hit there from Echo Fury. Ooh, but Torvasaurus responds with a crit. This has been a back and forth contest so far. Both our guys getting hit. The Volt Boost here would have finished Alpha Allosaurus off. But unfortunately for Varga, there was no Volcano Burst. And instead, it is Echo Fury taking the lead. Another ninja attack. And despite the type disadvantage, the Alpha Allosaurus does finish Torvasaurus off. It did take a beating though. 
Right, coming in next for Varga, we got Jobaria. Or I should say Jobaria. <laughs> now this matchup does favour Varga quite a bit, actually. Now that I think about it. Because Super Das comes in next with type disadvantage as well. And both of these guys got armor dinosaurs in third as well. Varga has the Armatus and Echo Fury has the Spinal Tector. But that's a big dino stuff that could be stopping that ninja attack, stopping Echo Fury extending their lead. We've seen situations like this before, haven't we? Oh, but it's not going to happen this time. Joboria gets that hit, takes out the aloe. Alpha Allo and levels things up. Right, coming in next for Echo Fury, we've got Super Despletosaurus, Awaken Mode on 3. Now, our Awaken Mode could be key here in this matchup. And the Burning Dash and the Magma Blaster don't get triggered right away, so. Jovoria won't have type advantage initially, but it will once one of those two moves get triggered. Oh, that's a tie. Now the Burning Dash will get triggered. But it is Despletosaurus getting the first shot. Okay, that's once. Oh, the Joboria responds with a big crit. This really has been a back and forth contest. That's a tie. Oh, but that's going to be a big crit. That's going to be a Venom Fang as well. We saw how devastating that Venom Fang can be in Echo Fury's last match. Oh, no, he's going to poison it. And it'll be just in time for the Awaken mode. Now, a tie here would be very good for Echo Fury because it'll give him a chance to get an Awakened hit on Armatus. Oh, he doesn't get the hit. That could be a massive hit there from Varga. From Taba Cannon coming in here. That's going to deny Akio Fury any chance of hitting the spinal, the uh, Armatus with the Awakened Head. And well, yet again, we're all square. Ooh, but this time it's Varga taking out the Despletosaurus. And going 2 one up. Right, coming in food for Echo Fury, we got Spinal Tector. Now this is a cut this is a match, man. This is a good match. Both of our guys have just thrown punches. It's been really good. But was that missed was that a missed opportunity for Echo Fury here? Okay, yep, there's a hit from Spinal Tector. That's going to fill up the bar as well, which could be an advantage to Echo Fury because that will mean, in theory, they could get the Dino Tector before Varga gets the Spectral Armor. Right, coming in food for S Varga, we got Armatus. Oh, we could, Armor could be a big factor yet. We could see Spectral Armor and Dino Tector. I hope so. But this, I, this match is going right down to the wire. Ooh, Armatus strikes the first blow. Attack boots activate in there. That could come in handy. Ooh, ooh that's a crit. That's going to max up the attack boost. Varga getting those two hits. Echo Fury needs to get the next hit here, or it's going to be game over. It's a tight. No, that's going to do it. It's going to be Varga's victory. Got to say it like that. A back and forth contest, but Varga just pulled away at the last second. <laughs> 
And it is their victory, and a good victory, I'll say. Right, on to match number three. Okie dokie, in the red corner for our host Stranger Gamer, we got Sinteosaurus. Stranger Gamer currently sitting at 2-2 two and two in this tournament, kind of in a seesawy position. Started really well and then two straight defeats, looking to bounce back here. A win would put them joint second with uh, Echo Fury and Varga, but a defeat and, in, and they could end up below their opponents cut Storm. And in the bottom too, if the main event goes a specific way. Right, anyway, in the blue corner for Storm, we have got Super Rajasaurus, Awaken Mode on 3. It's got the Death Fire. It's got that Awakened hit. And what's interesting is both our guys have Lightning Dinosaurs in third, so at some stage, both of these guys could get terrain advantage. Oop, there's the first shot of the match from Sinteosaurus. Elemental power coming in, that's definitely going to help against this Rad, because it does have all fire moves. It's a tie. Ooh, that's, that's a big hit from Sinteosaurus, that's going to activate the defense boost as well. The elemental power is going to max up. Look at that, it's going to be very tough to kill this Sinteosaurus now. This has been a good start from the hosts. And that's another hit on the board. Now the Raj does have the Death Fire, and it does get triggered, and it is Awakening Time. One hit here, and regardless of the resilience that Sateosaurus has built up, was still one shot. Ah, come on! <laughs> he had to get the Death Fire, didn't he? <laughs> that's a massive hit from Storm. It's been a good start from the host, but that Death Fire has well, swung this match 180. <laughs> well, this is interesting now, isn't it? Because in next for the host, we've got Mega Raptor. Now, if Storm can get some hits here with the Rajasaurus, it would be disastrous for our hosts. That death fire was big. That could that could swing this match's momentum 180. But the Rajasaurus is on really low health, so a tie will finish it off. Just need to make sure we don't get hit. Okay. I mean, that's not the worst case scenario, because it, the Magma Blaster hasn't been triggered, so it won't do that much damage. But the Mega Raptor needs to finish this Raj off. And does. Unconvincingly, but it's done. Right, coming in next for Carnotaurus Map, we've got... Super Carnotaurus, Awaken Mode on 3. Did I say Carnotaurus, man? I meant Storm. <laughs> but yeah, that Hurricane Beat, the Mayfly, the big hitters. Very big hitters. Right, we got around who survived the Rav Scare. Ooh. Storm getting some hits now. That that death fire has turned this match. Or has it? The host getting a big crit on the board. A tie bomb coming as well. Pretty much leveling things up. Oh, that's a tie. That's going to trigger the tie bomb. Can Carnotaurus survive to the awakened head? Oh, I could do more than that! Oh, it's a crit block, but it doesn't matter because the Mega Raptor's going down. And actually, it won't survive because Rhinoceratops does come in next with terrain advantage, so it will get the next hit. If Carnotaurus can survive that hit, it will get the Awaken Mode off. An interesting moment here. Coming in next for our host Stranger Gamer, we've got a Rhinoceratops. Okay, it'll be a rock hit, but it, it doesn't matter. It's, it's going to activate the attack boost. Electric charge could activate. We'll see what happens. Can Carnotaurus survive this hit? 
which gives Storm the chance for the bonus point win. And it does. That could be crucial. Ah, hit it. <laughs> Elemental Fusion. Big moment in the match here. Can Storm get the bonus point win? Nope. Oh, hang on. It survived. Oh, come on. <laughs> All right. Yes, he did. <laughs> of course, the tie is not enough. Oh, okay. Yeah, your Arinoceratops is ass. It's just ass in this team. If I was Anki Ceratops, the Carnotaurus would have died. <laughs> Death fire, man. Death fire. <laughs> Right, best not to dwell on it. Let's go over our main event. Right then, in the red corner for Khalid, we have got Shantungasaurus. Ooh, we're in the Alpha Arena for once. Khalid is all about the crits. Sitting at one and three, but a win here would um, help get them up the table, especially after certain results. Right, in the blue corner. For Mulberry, we have got Papasaurus. Dun, dun, dun. Mulberry had a slow start, but is enjoying life in this tournament. And a victory for them here would put them level on points with Varga and, Mo and uh, Echo Fury. An interesting scenario here. Ooh, that's a good start from Mulberry, that, getting the crit on the board. Not much damage dealt. Poposaurus does have quite low attack power for a secret dinosaur, anyway. Tight. Right. Ooh, that's a big crit from the Shant. An atomic bomb, that's going to do a lot of damage to Poposaurus. Whee! Boosh! Massive hit from Khalid. Tech boost coming in here. Defense boost activating. Oh, that's another hit from the Shant. That's going to max up the defense and the technique boost. You know, an even start. This is a good start from Khalid. Starting well. Got the um, defense boost maxed up and got that big crit. But the secret moves for have been triggered. Ooh, but we're not going to see him because Papasaurus is going down. Oh, hang on a minute. We do have an Alpha Dinosaur. It's Alpha Chasmosaurus. So you know what that means, don't you? Mulberry will get some nice terrain advantage. And, well, they might need it, actually. Like I said, it's been a good start from Khalid. It's going to get off a banana surprise by the looks of it. Hmm, a move removal effect here would definitely help. Okay, here it comes. Let's see if he gets the move removal effect. Uh, the Chasmosaurus being used here is not poison type mine, so do bear that in mind. Oh, wow, look at that. This Shant is buffed up defensively. Tight. That is pretty impressive. I have to say, if they play to Khalid... Well, what Mulberry can't afford to ha happen is, get, is to get hit by an atomic bomb. The ties are chipping away at the Chasmosaurus, though. Oh, that's not good. That's an atomic bomb. Khalid's strategy really working well here. Just slowly chip away, and when the opportunity comes to get the atomic bomb off, go for it. a tie, but ties are just doing nothing to the shant. Ah, that's what freaking Mulberry needs a hit. Oh my god, I still didn't kill it. <laughs> Man, this shant is buffed up. This would have been this would have been my Cynthosaurus if it were for freaking death fire. Boosh! And Chasmosaurus goes down and Khalid is 2-0 up. Courtesy of the resilience that the Shant has. But we will not count Mulberry out yet, because coming in third for them is Carnotaurus. They can definitely get Mulberry out of this tickle. One thing's for certain, I'm pretty confident Khalid won't 
win 3-0, yeah, because I think a tie will be enough to kill the shot. But Khalid is in a strong, strong position here, yeah, and a bonus point win, especially given the earlier results as well, could be huge for them. Okay, yeah, there it is. Mulberry can get the ties, but just can't get the hits at the minute. Right, coming in next for Khalid, we've got Tajongasaurus. Bum, bum. Bum, 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 bum. Tajongasaurus, another dinosaur that's all about the crypt. But Khalid is in a luxurious position here. He doesn't need to go for those crypts. Just chip away slowly at the carno, and if the chance comes to go for the crypt, go for the crypt. Or you could just try and spam the crit. Oh, well, there's one crit on the board. That's going to trigger the rock roller. That's going to guarantee the losing bonus points as well. Oh, that's another hit. Wow, this has been a really good display from Khalid. Okay, the Dino Illusion is getting triggered. That will, that's going to help Mulberry here, yeah, but they need a hit and they need it quick. That's a tie. Come on, Mulberry, get a hit, at least. Okay, the Dino Illusion's gone. But yeah, honestly, if Khalid don't win this match from you, then it's on them. <laughs> Mulberry is just not going go at all. Come on, come on, please, please be paper. Ah, oh, damn it. <laughs> well, anyway, it is Khalid's victory, and it's a big bonus point win. I mean, in fairness... It probably wouldn't have been a bonus point win if it weren't for the defensive resilience of the Shant. I will say that. I think Tajongasaurus might have gone down. But what a win for Khalid. And Mulberry, they're just going to have to dust that off. And this this round has really shaken up Group B. And let's have a look at the table. Well, Group B has really shaken up after that round. Maastrician still topping it with 14 points. And well, this six clear... So there's still one win will do it. There's two to play. There's six. They'll, they'll, they'll be in the knockout rounds. Then we have Varga and Echo Fury on 10 points. Varga above Echo Fury because they third you the head to head. And then Khalid in fourth place above Mulberry by again the head to head. And then, well, these three cannot be separated. Nothing to, can separate them. They've got identical records. They've all played each other. Literally nothing to separate them. But yeah. That was a disastrous round for us. <laughs> that was a terrible round. Look how tight it is. Like, one win and then all of a sudden, one of these guys are up here. Group B is really tightening up. It's still all to play for. Everyone can still qualify. It's it's like a pack of pack of rabid animals, these lot. <laughs> and then Maastrician's at the top. But yeah, that round really shook this group up. And I, I cannot wait for round six to get underway. But that's going to end this session here, so I hope you enjoyed, and until next time, ha-ta!